section in Phoenix, a couple pushing a child in a stroller, coming within a split second of being killed. The video was uploaded in September 2012 and has been watched over 11 million times. He's not suspected of a crime, but a miracle. I think that this time I've actually witnessed a guardian angel. Since the beginning of human civilization, countless stories have surfaced, showing winged guardians watching over us from celestial realms. But these angelic protectors have remained as myth and legend until now. Videos from across the globe reveal glowing entities and radiant figures coming to the aid of people in crisis. These clips capturing alleged angelic intervention beg the question, could angels walk among us? What do they want? And why do they only appear before some and not others? Join us as we examine these mysterious videos of guardian angels caught on camera across the globe. Winged Wonders Caught on Camera In recent times, a series of extraordinary images have appeared depicting winged entities and radiant figures that challenge the border between imagination and reality. Our story begins on an airplane, as seven-year-old Asher gazes with wonderment out the window. His bright eyes shine not just with childlike joy, but with an angelic innocence. For Asher was born with Down syndrome, his body bestowed with an extra chromosome. Though the added challenges, his family cherishes him deeply. On this flight, Asher clutches his mother Carrie's iPhone, capturing amateur photographs with youthful fascination. He snaps dozens of shots, likely just cloudy skies and blurred horizons from 30,000 feet. Yet among these casual photos lay something spectacular, an image Carrie could scarcely believe when reviewing the photos later that evening. For there in the frame appeared a mysterious winged figure ascending through the clouds, rays of light emanating outward like the finest Renaissance painting of guardian angels. The camera had captured Asher's angel, watching benevolently over the young boy's journey. Carrie posted the miraculous photo to Facebook, inviting a torrent of comments as friends and strangers tried grasping at plausible explanations. Pastor Daniel, upon seeing the image, felt moved by the Holy Spirit. To him, it was a sign from God himself that little Asher was protected under the wings of a guardian angel. As word spread, even talk show hosts requested interviews with Carrie, eager to share Asher's story. Those more skeptical questioned how a mere iPhone could capture such supernatural occurrences under the blur of an airplane window. Perhaps it was merely a commercial airliner passing by. But photo experts detecting no evidence of manipulation only added to the mystery. For Asher's family, the answers didn't matter at all. What mattered was this joyful little boy, greeting each day with divine innocence, a child under the care of celestial guardians. Another supernatural event occurred in late autumn when a motion-activated security camera in rural Michigan captured a brief yet remarkable image. What seemed to be a graceful, angelic figure suspended in mid-air, wings spread wide. The local community was abuzz with astonished conversations, seeing what they believed to be evidence of divine beings right in their surroundings. Pastor Rich, who had recently lost his wife tragically, found solace in gazing upon the angelic sight, hoping she had found peace among the heavenly choirs. Even well-known paranormal investigator George Norrie planned a special trip to Michigan, eager to explore the quiet country roads for signs of supernatural activity. However, skepticism also arose. Local camera shop owner Mr. Wagner suggested it might simply be a moth triggering the motion sensor lights. He even recreated the effect to demonstrate, but the townsfolk rejected his ordinary explanation. To them, this was clearly a comforting, angelic messenger. Televised debates ensued among paranormal experts, photography specialists, local pastors, and intrigued residents, 
each offering their own theories about the mysterious photograph. But for Pastor Rich, the exact explanation didn't matter. The angelic presence, whether real or imagined, provided him with solace during his time of profound grief. The story takes a global leap to Australia, where circulating footage claims to depict something extraordinary emerging from the clouds. In the video, an unidentified cameraman pans across a nondescript sky when suddenly, an angelic figure gracefully takes flight across the frame. With wings spread wide like an albatross, the celestial body dips and arcs through the atmosphere. But how could such a dramatic sight go unnoticed by those below? Skeptics dismissed it as CGI trickery, but believers saw it as a beacon of hope, straight from the pages of biblical scripture. The news spread rapidly across internet forums and video views soared. Was it a guardian angel or merely wishful thinking? The blurred lines of reality sparked speculation across the board. Yet for those who held on to faith, the possibility of glimpsing heavenly manifestations remained alive. We all yearn for magic in our mundane lives. Equally astonishing is footage from a dimly lit shopping mall, deserted in the dead of night, except for a lone custodian pushing his cart. Unseen by his eyes, the video captures something remarkable, an angelic figure appearing near the plants and water fountain, reaching down as if searching for something lost, its radiant feathers shimmer even in the dim light. Then, suddenly it vanishes, leaving behind only questions. Did the camera truly capture celestial beings walking among us, unseen? Online debates raged, with arguments from both sides, some claimed the footage was doctored, while others saw it as evidence of divine intervention. Yet one thing remained clear. We imperfect mortals may struggle to perceive the sacred forces around us, but our longing for the transcendent remains strong. As Asher gazes innocently from his airplane window, could a guardian angel's caring watch be upon him? As grieving Pastor Rich scans the skies over country roads, might angelic wings bring him solace in his sorrow? And as skeptical grocery clerks analyze security footage for ordinary explanations, could there be something deeper stirring within? We may never fully decipher the blurry border where reality meets fantasy. Yet, if we embrace wonder, angels might reveal themselves to us. If we let go of doubt and embrace childlike faith, then surely magic will unfold all around us. Divine Protectors Captured on Camera Next we examine stunning accounts of angelic intervention, where struggling souls find aid from heavenly sources. Compassionate figures bathed in light assist vulnerable people in crisis moments. But is help truly coming from above, or are desperate imaginations projecting salvation onto random events? Amy stares thoughtfully out of the hotel window, the night sky filled with twinkling lights, yet she feels enveloped in darkness. At just 16, a harsh illness runs through her body, leukemia controlling her fate with the harsh grip of chemotherapy. The clinical trial at Royal Free Hospital is her last hope, but with each passing day, her body weakens. Her mother, Sarah, stands by her side unwaveringly, both finding solace in the simple hotel room they now call home. Sarah tries to offer comfort to lift Amy's spirits, suggesting they take a selfie to share with dad back home. They raise the iPhone high, their faces side by side, smiling despite their struggles. Later that night, what began as a playful moment turned into something extraordinary. As Sarah looks through the photos, she stops at one that makes her heart skip a beat. Behind them is the unmistakable outline of an angelic figure, a protective spirit watching over her ailing daughter. Sarah's hands shake, and warm tears fill her eyes. The revelation feels like a gift from heaven in their darkest hour of need. A shiver runs down her spine. Could this be the divine intervention she prayed for so fervently? Had Amy's guardian angel revealed its comforting presence? Sarah shares the photo on social media, prompting an outpouring of messages, friends, neighbors, and even strangers offering prayers and hopeful words for young Amy. For Sarah, 
Faith rushes in like a flood. This angelic sign surely meant that Amy would be okay. Meanwhile, halfway across the world in Brazil, a young cameraman experiences something equally astonishing but for different reasons. While filming a leisurely birdwatching video near his home, his camera unexpectedly captures two mysterious figures gracefully soaring and swooping like birds across the sky. Upon closer examination, the footage reveals not birds, but humanoid shapes with wings, celestial beings moving with unearthly elegance. The man wonders excitedly if he's accidentally captured angels in flight. In a culture already steeped in supernatural beliefs, the video is met with wonder and awe. It's seen not as reality encroaching on myth, but as confirmation of myth in reality. The news went viral rapidly as international attention focused on the amateur video filmed in the quiet Brazilian countryside. Are they guardian angels or products of imagination? Onlookers debate opposing viewpoints, but the cameraman himself has no doubts. Once a skeptic, he now believes firmly that celestial guides walk among us. Almost as if in response to his newfound conviction, updates arrive days later that his ailing grandmother experiences an unexpectedly positive turn in the hospital. Doctors deem her recovery miraculous, prompting her to urge others to take guardian angels seriously. Half a world away, another grandmother lays hands in prayer. 60-year-old Debbie Rose clasps the icy hands of her nine-year-old granddaughter Amber, a ventilator tube snaking from her mouth. Amber had been born with a defective heart, weakening her immune system, such that a bout of pneumonia soon ravaged her entire body. Debbie kept prayerful watch by her side in the pediatric intensive care unit, where Amber had already spent half her short life. Though today was different, the doctors spoke of letting Amber go. As Debbie bowed her head, despairing, she felt a glow, an otherworldly presence enfolding her. In that instant, Debbie knew with perfect clarity that her prayer had been heard. Amber would remain under angelic protection. When doctors incredulously shared how removing Amber's oxygen had scarcely affected her, Debbie merely smiled a knowing smile. When nurses reported seeing a glowing spectral figure on the security camera, wings extended, face obscured in dazzling light, Debbie thanked the heavens for this guardian angel. Photos snapped revealed radiant streams of light around Amber's bed, the angel figures prominently by her side. That day, all who witnessed felt moved by sacred revelation. Little Amber's glowing guardian had arrived as divine testimony that hope stands eternally by our side. In life's most wrenching moments, guardian angels may step forth from the veil between worlds to shower us with divine gifts of hope, faith, and enduring love. Divine or deception? Are these real or make-believe? Here's other mystifying footage that seems to reveal celestial visitors in our skies. Beings with preternatural features appear in blurry videos, leaving us to wonder, do mythic creatures walk among us, or are our eyes deceiving us? Since the inception of photography, humanity has sought evidence of realms beyond the ordinary. As cameras evolved from grainy film plates to high-resolution digital images, controversial pictures have surfaced, reigniting our age-old debate. Is our world the only reality, or do divine dimensions intersect with our own? Concealed within light particles and pixelated shadows, phantoms seem to materialize and disappear like whispers across time. Such questions stirred a sleepy Michigan town when security cameras captured a fleeting yet miraculous image, the silhouette of an angelic figure suspended mid-air against the night sky. Local internet forums erupted with astonishment. Had they captured proof of the divine? The townsfolk flooded social media with speculation, many convinced this was irrefutable evidence of angels among them. Local pastor Valerie echoed this sentiment, finding solace in the possibility of angelic guardians after her mother's passing. However, camera shop owner Evan dismissed supernatural claims, demonstrating how a moth could create the same winged effect. 
As speculation grew, city council members urged for rational discussion before rumors took hold. The ensuing debates mirrored modern society's divisions, science versus spirituality, academics versus lay people. University professors presented data on camera exposures, conservationists discussed native moths, and internet enthusiasts passionately defended the angelic theory. Media attention intensified, sensationalizing the controversy with provocative headlines. Yet perhaps the truth doesn't lie in proving perspectives right or wrong, but in understanding why humanity remains endlessly fascinated by ethereal possibilities. The angel image, whether genuine or illusory, reflects society's inherent longing for wonder and significance. For Pastor Valerie, the blurry shape symbolizes hope and continuity, a belief that departed loved ones are close at hand, if only one believes. Perhaps faith requires no evidence when it arises from a realm beyond logic. However, the reasoned voices of academics, seeking understanding through critical thinking rather than blind conviction, cannot be dismissed. A similar clash erupted thousands of miles away in the suburbs of Perth, Australia, where bushfires had left vast acres in smoldering ruins. As exhausted firefighters combed through ash for lingering sparks, a resident captured several photos amidst the desolation. While most depicted widespread devastation, one image in particular stunned onlookers. Amidst the flames stood an apparent fiery specter. Head, shoulders, and wings were vividly ablaze. The ghostly shape evoked imagery of both angels and demons. Mystified firefighters immediately deemed it supernatural, with many finding solace in the belief that heaven was watching over them amid the inferno. However, officials desperate for a rational explanation dismissed it as mere flame patterns playing tricks on the eye. Once again, truth became entangled with belief, as the photo sparked a storm of debate across Australian media. Were these heavenly beings manifested as firewalkers to bless the community in its darkest hour? Or were officials correct in attributing the lifelike shapes to natural phenomena? Those most directly affected, fire survivors and the courageous crews who battled the relentless blaze, firmly sided with the belief in angels. For them, faith, already tested by adversity, was reignited as they believed celestial helpers walked the scorched earth alongside them. Yet, dissenting skeptics decried irrationality, drawing alarming comparisons between believers in angels and members of deranged cults. But what images capture or conceal remains secondary to why humanity forever chases the ephemeral unknowns. Perhaps reality proves too mundane, life's crushed dreams too sorrowful unless one holds hope of worlds awaiting beyond. Theology paints vivid pictures of ethereal planes far removed from earthly turmoils. Even eminent philosophers like Plato spoke of dimensional veils separating mortal and immortal realms. Quantum laws show how reality shifts with each observation, suggesting that imaginations and cameras may capture more than meets the eye at first glance. Sacred Grounds Where Heaven Meets Earth From malls to mosques, we now investigate videos showing angels using Earth as transitory stopovers. They materialize and dematerialize with puzzling abilities outside scientific reality. Are they traveling between dimensions via portals unseen? Throughout history, humanity has sought out thin spaces, earthly locations where the boundaries between worlds become almost transparent and the whispers of divine dimensions reach our mortal senses. In ancient tales, gods were told to have wandered through lush meadows, seers have seen spirits in desert sands, and monks have sensed astral murmurs within incensed temples. Even in modern times, there are occasional sites where heaven feels less like a hypothetical notion and more like a fleeting reality. One such phenomenon unfolds in Islamabad, Pakistan, within the graceful arches of the Shah Faisal Masjid one of the largest mosques in the world. This massive structure is a wonderful Islamic architecture, its towering minarets seemingly reaching toward the heavens themselves 
as if the ancient stone and gold filigree could bridge the gap between earth and heavenly skies. And within its polished white marble floors lies an apparent intrusion of a thin space, security cameras capturing a breathtaking spirit wandering the big halls. As word of the footage spreads like wildfire, devout Muslim followers are filled with fervent speculation. The radiant figure displays unmistakable hallmarks of Islamic angelology, draped in loose white garments, with wings gently folded, precisely matching the descriptions of celestial helpers found in the Quran. However, controversy arises as some question whether such holy ground could accommodate a mere apparition, as Islamic doctrine teaches that angels alone have access to lofty dimensions. As heated discussions ignite in theological circles, traditional beliefs about sacred spaces clash with miraculous visual evidence. Could the splendid mosque truly be a magnet for thin spaces, drawing angelic manifestations? Were the security guards witnesses to heavenly messengers or merely earthly apparitions? The debates rage on, but all who witness the dazzling vision within Islam's magnificent pillars sense the intrusion of realms beyond mortal understanding. Meanwhile, halfway across the globe, an equally perplexing occurrence unfolds within a tiny stone chapel on the New Hebrides Islands. Here, a single grainy photograph captures the attention of the world. In this remote Pacific outpost, an apparent angelic figure of astonishing beauty stands peacefully towering seven feet tall beside worshippers crowded into wooden pews. Draped in shimmering white robes with elongated wings, the towering form was witnessed by over a hundred villagers during Father Gill's Sunday service, causing both chaos and awe. As preacher Gill led his bewildered flock, Several witnesses claim the radiant giant figure raised its palm in a heavenly blessing before slowly fading away. The miraculous tale spread rapidly throughout the deeply Christian villages, revitalizing waning missionary faiths. However, many abroad responded with skepticism upon hearing such improbable claims from small tropical communities scarcely touched by modern progress. Was this simply a fantasy emerging from isolated islands known for their indigenous ancestor cults and spiritualistic beliefs? Could worshippers have mistaken a costumed island ritual for a biblical revelation, influenced by religious hysteria? Non-believers dismissed it as delusion, seeing it as evidence that religion often breeds irrationality and supernatural fabrications. However, Esteemed theologians who closely examined the reports of the apparition, the angel's sudden appearance, the way its robe refracted light, its puzzling slow disappearance, found that no logical explanation sufficed except the miraculous. Moreover, the angel has reappeared numerous times over 30 years among islanders, often in chapels and orphanages that have been rebuilt, solidifying its reality in the local community as a towering guardian spirit. Ultimately, no single theory fully explains the extraordinary visions captured in these remote Pacific valleys, where the boundaries between worlds seem particularly porous. Perhaps in certain sanctified places, where worship and song stir the invisible air, celestial messages find earthly conduits. So what are we to make of these intriguing documents showing apparent angels illuminated by temple spotlights and stained glass? Do ethereal messengers sometimes walk where sacred words are spoken? And why do angels seem to favor specific sanctuaries while ignoring many others, despite the faithful voices within? The myriad questions raised by such miraculous footage remain largely unanswered, leaving us to ponder the mysteries they represent. Celestial Encounters in Jerusalem Glowing shapes with majestic wings appear in amateur footage from around the globe. They display wondrous features reminiscent of humanity's highest spiritual visions. But without context, can we verify the authenticity or purpose behind these heavenly revelations? In the ancient and sacred corners of Jerusalem, a captivating phenomenon unfolded, witnessed by numerous individuals, and captured from various vantage points. 
It was an event that defied conventional explanation, leaving those who bore witness in awe and uncertainty, questioning the very boundaries of our perceived reality. The story begins with a lone cameraman, his lens focused on the iconic Dome of the Rock, a revered Islamic shrine that has stood as a testament to human faith and architectural grandeur for centuries. Little did he know that the footage he was about to capture would ignite a firestorm of speculation and debate, transcending religious and cultural divides. As the camera rolled, an ethereal light descended upon the sacred dome, its radiance piercing the darkness of the night sky. For a fleeting moment, the world seemed to hold its breath, as if acknowledging the presence of something beyond mortal comprehension. Then, in a sudden burst of energy, the luminous entity propelled itself skyward, vanishing into the heavens as swiftly as it had appeared. But this was just the beginning of a phenomenon that would astound and perplex in equal measure. Unbeknownst to the initial cameraman, his lens was not the only one trained upon the Dome of the Rock that fateful night. From various vantage points across the ancient city, other individuals bore witness to the same extraordinary event their cameras capturing the scene from multiple angles. Each perspective offered a unique glimpse into the mystery unfolding before their eyes. As the footage began to circulate, it became evident that this was no isolated incident, no mere trick of the light or optical illusion. The multiple camera angles, each capturing the same celestial display, lent undeniable credibility to the phenomenon. Even the most skeptical minds found themselves grappling with the implications. One clip, captured from a different vantage point, revealed the luminous entity hovering motionless above the dome before its sudden skyward ascent. Another angle, perhaps the most striking of all, seemed to depict the entity with what appeared to be wings. This lent credence to the speculation that this was no mere light show, but an encounter with something far more profound. As the videos spread like wildfire across the internet and news networks, reactions ranged from awe to disbelief, from fervent belief to outright dismissal. To some, the footage represented tangible proof of the existence of divine beings, celestial messengers descending upon one of the holiest sites in the Abrahamic faiths. To others, it was nothing more than an elaborate hoax, a masterful manipulation of digital technology designed to deceive and mislead. Yet, what truly set this phenomenon apart was the sheer number of eyewitnesses and the various displays of perspectives captured on film. It was not a single, isolated sighting, but a convergence of multiple accounts, each corroborating the others as visual evidence that could not be easily dismissed or explained away. For those who witnessed the event firsthand, the experience was nothing short of transformative. Some spoke of a profound sense of awe and reverence, a feeling of being in the presence of something sacred and ineffable. Others described a sense of confusion and disbelief, their worldviews shaken to the core by an encounter that defied rational explanation. As the debate raged on, fueled by the insatiable curiosity of a world yearning for answers, one thing became abundantly clear. The Jerusalem light phenomenon had ignited a spark within the collective consciousness, a reminder that the universe still harbors mysteries beyond our comprehension and that the boundaries of our understanding are ever-expanding. In the aftermath of this celestial encounter, a profound realization began to take root. The veil between the seen and unseen realms is thinner than we often acknowledge, and the line between faith and tangible evidence is not as clearly defined as we might believe. For those who embraced the phenomenon as a divine manifestation, it served as a powerful affirmation of their beliefs, a reassurance that the spiritual realm is not merely a construct of human imagination, but a palpable reality that occasionally intersects with our own. For others, it represented a challenge to their skepticism, a call to reevaluate their preconceptions and remain open to the infinite possibilities that the universe holds. Angels Found Among Us 
Cameras reveal angelic forms offering consolation and protection to people in dire need. Little distinction remains between mythic imagination and documented reality. But what deeper truths do these visions reflect about existence? And why do cameras capture what human eyes alone cannot? In situations where faith and reality meet, people often ask this kind of question. Do angels truly exist beyond the bounds of myth and scripture? While skeptics may laugh at this, a growing collection of videos has emerged, each one claiming to capture the elusive presence of celestial beings on camera. These recordings, often shrouded in mystery and controversy, have ignited a heated debate, leaving us to ponder the boundaries of our understanding of heaven and earth. This clip takes us to the streets of Boa Vista, Brazil, where a cameraman's lens inadvertently captured something extraordinary. Initially believing he was filming mere birds in flight, the footage revealed two winged creatures unlike any avian species known to man. Their ethereal forms seemed to defy the laws of physics, leaving onlookers mesmerized and questioning the nature of these majestic beings. Next, we journey to a sacred mosque in Azerbaijan, where a low-quality phone camera captured a truly remarkable sight. Amidst the reverent atmosphere, a glowing figure appeared, its radiant presence casting an otherworldly glow upon the hallowed ground. Skeptics may argue that the poor video quality could be the result of a clever editing trick, but believers contend that such a feat would be nearly impossible to replicate convincingly. In a bustling Indonesian mall, a fleeting moment of potential divine intervention unfolded. As children scampered about, an angelic figure appeared, only to vanish moments later. The footage, captured by an unsuspecting bystander, has fueled endless debates, with some claiming it to be one of the most compelling pieces of evidence for the existence of angels in our modern world. Perhaps one of the most chilling and thought-provoking videos comes from an unknown location, where a man on a bicycle narrowly escaped a fatal collision. As a truck and car swayed towards him, an unseen force appeared to intervene, miraculously sparing his life. The man himself attested to being saved by an angelic presence, a belief shared by many who have witnessed the haunting footage. The final clip, however, defies all conventional explanations. In a heart-stopping moment, a man on a motorbike found himself in the path of imminent destruction, only to be teleported mere meters away in the blink of an eye. The force responsible for this seemingly impossible feat appeared and disappeared with supernatural swiftness, leaving a trail of bewilderment and awe in its wake. As these videos continue to circulate and captivate audiences worldwide, the debate rages on. Skeptics denounce them as clever hoaxes, the product of advanced editing techniques or optical illusions. Believers, on the other hand, cling to these recordings as tangible proof of a higher realm, a glimpse into the divine forces that may govern our existence. Whether one chooses to embrace or reject the notion of angels caught on camera, one thing is certain. These recordings have ignited a spark of curiosity and wonder within us all. They challenge us to expand our perspectives, question the boundaries of our reality, and remain open to the infinite possibilities that may exist beyond the veil of our limited senses. Thanks for watching. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates. And while you're still here, click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos.